What is good and welcome back. Now we are jumping straight into this week eight matchup and we are playing the New England Patriots and uh, their star receiver is Julian Edelman. Now, yes, it kind of sounds a little strange, like star receiver. You're thinking like Julio Jones or like AJ Green, but Julian Edelman is a star receiver in the league. I mean, he does have Tom Brady who can get anybody open. So it is going to be a struggle and maybe a problem for us to stop Julian Edelman and players like Gronkowski in this game. And it is also raining, so it's going to add another factor into it. So here we go in on the very first play. Tom Brady hands the ball off to LeGarrette Blunt, and LeGarrette Blunt is knocked down for negative three rushing yards. So, so far, not a good start. So it is second and 13 here. Just under six minutes on the clock, and the ball is handed off once again to LeGarrette Blunt. And there I am for the tackle. Early off in this game, I am already on the board with some stats, and that was my first tackle of the game. So it is third and 10 now. Play action for Tom Brady. Tom Brady drives back, has so much time. His usual throws the ball deep, and the ball is incomplete. Pass was out of bounds. So that is a fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it. So our offense is doing its thing so far, and 10 to 0 is the score. We move straight into the second quarter, and just like that, another tackle on the Garrett Blunt behind the line. So six rushes for negative one yards for LeGarrette Blunt, and he has not been having a good day. So there I am once again, and another tackle. Jonas Gray was the running back on that play. Third and three, the play action once again for Tom Brady, and we all know how deadly he is on play action. The pass was short to Jonas Gray once again, and that was the first down, but I was there for the assisted tackle. So we are still in the second quarter, and it is the two-minute warning mark. Tom Brady's in the shotgun formation, has a bunch of time. We all know how great his pocket is. He throws the ball deep, and that is an interception. Tom Brady threw the ball deep, and Brett Grimes was there to pick it off. That was a nasty pick by Brett Grimes, and our offense is doing it, and now our defense is stepping up. So it's going to be a long day for this New England Patriots team. Let's check out the instant replay right there, and oh my goodness, that was a toe touch by Brett Grimes. So with 59 seconds left in the clock stop, Tom Brady has a chance to drive down the field. It's on second and 10, he throws the ball to who else? Rob Gronkowski, who picks up the first down the call timeout there. So it is first and 10. Only six seconds were knocked off the clock on that last play. So there we go again. And another West Coast type of pass, slants, and the man runs out of bounds. Oh, actually, it does not run out of bounds, and the clock is still ticking, so it is 22 seconds. Brady throws the ball across the middle, and I am there for the tackle. Another tackle on the day, so it is three seconds on the clock in this second quarter, and they call it a timeout, so it is time for them to kick a field goal here. The kick is up, and the kick is straight down the middle. So the score is 10-3. to three. They are down by seven points going into the second half, so it is about four minutes and four seconds. And the ball is handed off. And once again, I'm there for another tackle. But Gary Blunt was brought down on that play. And he has not been having one of his best games so far. And once again, I'm there for another tackle. 20 to 3 is the score. And oh my gosh, our offense is stepping up for maybe the first time in a while. And there is the receiver. And he drops the pass. He heard my footsteps. And... My footsteps are pretty intimidating, and that pass was incomplete. Now there goes Tom Brady. Tom Brady scrambled and he fumbled. Almost a, oh my goodness, almost a fumble return for a touchdown. Jelani Jenkins with one fumble recovery and three tackles in the day. But what was Brady thinking? Tom Brady can scramble nowadays. This is, this is unreal. This is unreal. So with a minute and 10 seconds left, 27 to three is the score, and there is no way back for the New England Patriots. So all they're doing here is getting garbage time touches, garbage time stats, and garbage time TDs. So the game is over, and we did very well in this game today. The final score was 27 to 10, and we outrushed them. They only had 27 rushing yards in the game today, so we did really well on the rush defensive side. So we're stepping into game two, which is week nine, and we are playing the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Buffalo Bills have been doing their thing so far, and in this game, EJ Manuel will be taking over as quarterback.
They are already marching down the field, and I blew my coverage right there. Oh my goodness. The tight end was able to get across the middle one pass for 31 yards, and they are almost in touchdown range. They're on the seven yard line. EJ Manuel throws a slant across the middle, and they did not score there, but they did pick up four yards. So now they're on the three yard line on third and goal, and this should be a piece of cake for them. LaShawn McCoy walks his way into the end zone. Seven to zero is the score already in this game, and it's looking like it's going to be a hard game for us. Now it is second and six. Play action from EJ Manuel and he throws the ball deep. What a catch, oh, incomplete pass actually. His receiver had the ball, then he dropped it. I mean, if he caught that, that would have been an amazing catch because he was double covered. So it is third and six here on the eight yard line. They're throwing a screen play and you guys know how much I hate screen plays, but there we were able to stop the play. We read it like a book, then it was a fourth down. So the score is still 7-0, and here I am for a tackle. I am doing very well both of these games so far with stopping the running back, reading where he's going, and just getting into the right positions. And once again, I'm there to stop LaShawn McCoy. So it is second and two, about five minutes left in this half. LaShawn McCoy runs the ball, but he cannot get past the first down. Marcus Otis, third and two here. They hand the ball off once again, and once again. Oh, never mind. He was able to get past it this time, so that is a first down for this Buffalo Bills offense, and they are marching, led by LaShawn McCoy. Every play seems like it's going to him. Actually, that time, it was to Fred Jackson, who has two rushes for negative four yards, so his production on day has not been that good, but everyone else is doing their thing, and just like that, they were able to pick up another first down. EJ Menu is six for eight. 83 yards on the day, so that is a very good game so far. No touchdown passes, not many yards, but very, very efficient. So once again, Josh back, and once again, throws the ball, and just like that, I say he has no touchdown passes. Well, there he goes and gets his first touchdown pass of the day, and now the score is 14-0 after the extra point. Now you guys did just see that huge pass by EJ. So now he is actually turning it up. It is first and 10. Second quarter sale. Oh, I was so close to pulling off an interception right there. I was on the wrong side of the defender. So they just scored another touchdown once again. EJ Manuel just threw his second TD of the day. And 21-0 is now the score. I mean, this is getting out of hand here. We're in the third quarter and it looks like our offense can't play well. Our defense hasn't been playing well. I haven't been playing that well. I'm not going to lie. So it's, it hasn't been looking good at all. EJ is now 11 for 17, two TD passes. Second and 10. He's in the shotgun formation and has a bunch of time. Throws the ball short. A slant across the middle always works. And the man is able to pick up a first down there. Second and three, play action. Good blocking by his O-line. The ball's thrown deep into the end zone. Oh my gosh. What a catch, what a pass. That is his 10th passing TD this season, his third of the game, and they are destroying us. Let's look at the instant replay right here, and I was able to get to the quarterback, but about a second too late, and look at Robin Woods. Oh my goodness. He just did his thing and he just pulled down the ball in the end zone just like like it was nothing now we're moving into the fourth quarter and as you guys can see i got that tackle right there but this game is over LaShawn mccoy had 22 rushes 102 yards and a td so basically the offense has been turning up passing running there's no chance for us to stop them at all so it is third and ten here two minutes left in this game they're gonna run the ball, basically just to run out the clock. Fred Jackson picks up no yards on that rush. So the game is now over 31 to zero. We got a giant goose egg. We got a huge donut. What are we gonna do? 
After playing a great game versus the pass in the rain, we come to Buffalo and we do nothing. In this game, I did have five total tackles, one tackle for a loss, and three assisted tackles. So, I mean, not a terrible game, but not a very good game either. So, it has been an up and down start to this season. We are five and three. So, we are above 500, which is very good. Five wins so far is not bad either. So, let's see if we can just bounce back from that terrible game we just played and win a couple games in a row and get a streak going. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Stay tuned for way more episodes coming out soon. For now, you guys already know, I'm out.